You can now follow me on all my social media platforms to find out who my latest guest will be. And don't forget to click the subscribe button and the notifications button so you're notified for when my next podcast goes live. He's robbed him for that, but then they've gone and robbed him for that. Then his dad's been shot and killed there. And then he's on this. Mm-hmm. They're like, what? So you watch it, like, oh shit, his dad's killed because he robbed that. And then the scouts has gone and robbed him for underground. And oh my God, this is crazy. And that's how I'm honestly feeling now. Like, I've got all these watches and all that. I don't, I don't like it no more. Like, this watch, however much money it costs, it's a piece of shit. It don't even, I don't even have the time to toll on it. I don't set the time on it. They grabbed me by my pants, dragged me, lifted up the shields, dragged me underneath it. And I just remember sitting like that. All I could do is see. I couldn't, I couldn't really hear. It was all blurred. Like, it was just like, I was stuck. I couldn't do anything. And they were just hitting me with the back of the, like, you know, their machine guns. Mm -hmm. They was hitting me with the back of the machine guns, going, I thought you was fucking hard, you pussy. Like, just proper giving it. I looked in the mirror, I see my face. No, I'm not, I I saw my kid's life. I said, get a gun out. We're going there now, I'm going to do one of the officers. He went, what? I said, listen, if you love me, we're going in now, we're doing one of them officers. Trust me, I'm going to shoot him on the doorstep. And that's on my kid's life. We got a gun, we went back to the prison. I was going to wait for the officer to come out, I was going to shoot him right in his nut. Boom, my own. <laughs> <laughs> and we've got the king of the south back, Danny Simpson. How are you, Danny Come boy? On, brother. Yeah, I'm good, bro. Literally. You seem chill today. I'm just, uh, just all the big stuff's calmed down now. Everything's just settled. Yeah. Well, it's not just settled. You're just out of prison again, Danny. <laughs> <laughs> a little six weeks. Oh, that was a joke as well. Fucking hell. But your last podcast, over 400,000 viewers. Were you, are you surprised at how big it's went? Um. Yeah, really. Yeah, of course. Jesus Christ, considering the people that you've had on, like, I'm not more famous than them, I'm not bigger than them, do you know what I mean? So, yeah, it was a bit like, fucking hell. Yeah, I've had like Dan Toes, Gazzas and oh, no, Danny like, Simpson from London. I'm so, not, like, proper people with good stories. Them. I know, yeah. it's mad. But you think it was all the controversy you caused with all the videos and all the, the, the madness that was going about at the time? I don't know, because even, like, I just feel like people are intrigued. Like, it catches people's eye, like, hang on, this, like, no one tells what I say. Like they keep it quiet, they do it in the backgrounds. But I'm just like, I'll do it, I'll say it, it is what it is. And I think people find it intriguing. They don't want to go and read a fake book, they don't want to watch a fake film. They'd rather listen to someone who's doing it and is being real about it. Who's open and they relate. Up, who's open and honestly about it as well. <laughs> How's the response been with it so far? What, the hate? <laughs> a lot of hate. A lot of hate. <laughs> in what way? Oh, mate, like, just comment. Just only hate on social media, like, comments and stuff. No, like, in the street. Uh, in the streets and that, it's just mad positive. Like, I see people who come over, well, pictures, lo- like, me to follow them back on Instagram. Just mad positive. But, obviously, on a fake computer, on the phones, it's your mum this, your ginger this, your bald twat. Go and die. What were you saying? Somebody wrote a message on your TikTok saying they hope he gets found in the river or some shit? Yeah, so literally on the way here, um, obviously there's a video up about me terrorising the police and on it says, can we get a video of when the police dragged this fucker's body out the um, river? <laughs> Heavy, isn't it? Heavy. And then there was one the other week, about, no, not even a week, literally about five days ago, it's like... Um, your nan used to finger blast you every Sunday or something. <laughs> like, what the fuck? <laughs> but I honestly find them funny. Like, I don't, you've took your time to go and write that. So now I'm living rent free in your brain. Like, so I don't honestly give a shit. You're still getting severe, though you're getting a lot of grief for the coppers every day, oh, basically every around day, your car and shit. But you've just done a few weeks in the jail there. You got to jail again. What happened? So basically, I was at Novikov restaurant in London, literally parked the car. Obviously, loads of cars always get nicked. So I thought, oh, let me bring it to like the front of the queue. So I brought it to the front of the cars outside the restaurant. To obviously, the concierge recognised me, rung police, and said, oh, Danny Simpson's driving on the van. Next thing I know, I come out of Novikov, the same geezer lets me know that there's loads of police here, like a rat. So <laughs> I see the police, so then I get out of there, ring my bird up, she comes and gets my car. We drive off, and then all the helicopter, police, and all that stop us. 
But then they had no evidence there and then. And then literally three weeks later, they went back to Novikov that, and then they got the CCTV of me pulling up, getting out of the car, putting my coat on and walking in. Fucking rat. And then the geezer had even had the cheek to message me on Instagram and go, police are trying to make me go to court and do a statement against you. I ain't going to do it. I'm thinking, I've already got your fucking statement, you rat. Oh, that's just mad. All of this stuff, yeah? Yeah. And then the other day, I'd done a video outside Novikov to all the bouncers, and I was like, you fucking rats, I should get out and slap all you, isn't it? Yeah? Put it up, added Novikov, and the cheeky fuckers liked the, liked the video. I thought, I'm going to obliterate your restaurant, bro. <laughs> <laughs> so, what did you get? Six weeks? Yeah, uh, 12 weeks do six. No, I've got f 10 weeks do five. But I said to the judge, Are you taking the piss? I've not been arrested since 2018. She went, 12 weeks do six. I mean, it's fucking one week different. And then I just stormed off downstairs. So yeah, how was prison back in prison for you? Oh, do you know what? It's a total different world to what I'm used to. Like honestly, like this COVID in prison, I honestly take my hat off to every person in prison right now, free them all because it's crazy. Twenty three hour lockdown, no shower for three days. It just like it's oh, we're all open again out here, but in prison they're all still locked down. No visits, no gym, no no no. It's it's honestly it's a joke. I don't know why the government's letting it go on. Like, they're not even nothing like for three days and stuff no shower oh it's, 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 it's diabolical it's liberty did you struggle with that then what the yeah sentence? it was a lot of it. yeah I was doing a lot of bang up but the boys next door and there's a few lads in the prison that proper sweet in like uh, Wandsworth big them up free them all um, yeah they would like come and give me their Xbox um, DVD players I was like oh Danny's here no, you do nothing <laughs> <laughs> There's people shouting out in prison. Literally, I drive on the wing and all of a sudden it's out the window. Danny Simpson's here, Danny Simpson. I was like, fuck it, no, man. Who is that? Come out in the morning, expect to have a tilt with the whole wing, and everyone's like, yes, bro. Were you, on, were you keeping on your toes, though, just in case? No, because everyone was just so positive. Like, it's mad. Like, criminal, like, criminals and people that know, like, love me. It's crazy. They just respect it. They're like, it's like it's like a thing like real recognize real. So when they see me, they're like, "Yes, cuddle me." Like you're a G. It's just the haters on social media that obviously do get robbed and just are little bums. Uh -huh. hate. You, obviously, when you were on the last podcast, you said you'd made like half a million by just taking shit off of people. Mm. Are you still up to your no, old no, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> I ain't made a penny. <laughs> <laughs> Literally, no. I'm not robbed. No one. Not done anything. I just, no, like, <laughs> no, that's on. I'm actually being serious. I actually have I robbed anyone. <laughs> no, I actually ain't. Yeah, change mind, Danny boy. No, yeah, yeah I'm not, look, someone will get robbed, but I just ain't done it. I just, no, I'm just chilling. Kicking you think, back. As you're getting older, though, and you, obviously you've got a newborn, so congratulations mm -hmm. to you and your missus. Like, does Thank that you. make you see the world differently a bit? Um, yeah, because obviously she's a little girl, and obviously my other little girl, but. And then like, I still have to support them, so someone will be getting robbed at one stage. <laughs> <laughs> I'm laughing, mate. That's funny, mate. And I know you're going to fucking end up doing it, like, which is the crazy thing, mate. Like people were thinking you fucking wronging, but then people will be in the prisons laughing, like fuck, want to see you again to high five you. <laughs> Ain't the world's mad though. Oh, it's That's fucked up, like honestly. The amount of people who watch this interview live, mate, you're probably talking a couple of thousand, and uh, they've just been the comments. Why do you think that is? Mate, Why I put a video on a story on Instagram between five and ten thousand views daily. Like it's mad. Daily ten thousand views. Like what are you doing? Like yeah, it's mad. Your Instagram, your one with nearly a hundred thousand, get shut down. Why? Just haters. That's like the third in, the third Instagram. I had fifty thousand one got shut down. Eighty thousand one got shut down. And a fifteen thousand, my backup one got shut down. They're just haters. Like, but I don't care. It's Instagram. Like, who cares? What about when the, the coppers were surrounding you and they, they beat you, man? But I had a fight yesterday, two days ago with the police. Again? Yeah. I'd... What about the video that was going about? What one? The one when I got arrested yeah. in the bush? Oh, that was quite bad, wasn't it? Yeah, it was fucked up. What happened? Oh, they arrested me for assaulting police. Yeah, but what happened? Did you before the cameras went on? <laughs> <laughs> nah, so we was driving along and I weren't allowed to sit in the front of the cars on bail. So we're driving along and I've clocked them. I said, police are there. So we carried on driving. They went behind us. And then I said, go left. I looked around. They went left. Went, go right. They went right. I said, pull over. Fuck these fuckers, man. So we pulled over. They skidded up in front. 
this woman was just like mad possessed, run over to the passenger door, ripped open the door, like, who are you? So I'm in the back now because I'm not allowed in front. Obviously, I've just jumped over the back seat <laughs> quickly. She's like, who are you? I'm like, you fucking know I am. Look how you're acting. She started trying to drag me over. And that's what you basically see, like literally, like she was mad, acting crazy mad and then she even tried to send through points the other day for not when all that got dropped and not, like they arrested me and charged me for assaulting police officers clearly you've seen the video how can i assault like you're doing madness it's bruv hitting me with cuffs trying to tase me and then when that got dropped i let her come through the door saying uh six points for no insurance and we only went to court for that last week wasn't it? and we got away with that can paying a solicitor 800 pounds to get the points dropped mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, it's just crazy. How long were you banned for? Me? Yeah. Have you ever had a license? No, never. For fuck's sake, Danny. I know. But you've got so many videos, mate. <laughs> I'm right. You're driving, man. <laughs> yeah, but they can't prove it. Like, I know it's saying the steering wheel. I know it sounds mad, yeah? But I can video myself driving behind the steering wheel. How can they prove where that is, what time it is, or even if I'm driving? It could be you in the front passenger seat. I could lean over you with that arm, hold the steering wheel, and I can lean over you that arm to a video. How do they know that's me driving? They can't prove it. Do you feel as if you're antagonized, though? Yeah. <laughs> Take the piss all the time. <laughs> Fuck him, bro. And I'm going to do it more because they said in the newspaper that about the Novikov one, they went, there's a team out now because um, he was boasting on Instagram that he was driving the band. But I actually wasn't, but I actually am going to start doing it. Right? I wasn't, but I am that. Because mm -hmm. you actually can't prove it. And a police officer told me that themselves. Like, we can't actually prove that you're driving. We don't, can't see time, date, you know what you're doing. You're not showing exactly you where you are. So they've never used any of that? They can't. Court. No, them videos, you can't use them. That's why I just do my hand on the steering wheel. You can't prove it. There could be anyone in the driver's seat. Not now, mate. They're watching this, mate. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. Do you ever think, though, but I know what I'm doing... Like, I'll just you're, take the piss. You're, you're, yeah, you're anti authority. Yeah. authority. You that is the literally it. Yeah. The coppers, social services, and some prison officers. Like, mate, it's pure beef. Like, honestly. Do you want me to explain why? Yeah. <laughs> but I hate the police because they honestly, like the other day when I got arrested, yeah, I saw I see a kid I don't like. So I said to him, What's up? He ran to the police, started banging on the door to the police station. So I said, What are you doing, bruv? Like, and the next thing I know, they just run out saying threats to kill and all start jumping. Like, what are you doing? So then I'm having a mad wrestle with them. And they're just trying to, all they're trying to do is trying to, to antagonize me. So I'll start whacking them and then get done for assault in police. And then by Simpson again. Like they've done my whole life. That's why I hate police. Because they act a certain way when they're with their gang. But when you see them in blue waters, the lakesides, shopping centers, with their kids and their missus, they don't act the same way. So you're bullied then. You want to act like a gangster with 10 people, but you you see me and you want to put your head down across the road when you're caught slipping. Hate social services because they just lie, literally, and twist it, like, madly. After all this stuff that come out, I try to say my kids are a danger around me because everything that's going on. But hang on a minute, how do you even know it's real? Do you know what I mean? You have no evidence of anything. Um, and who else did I say I hate? Some prison officers. Prison officers for the same reason, like... You have the ones that actually are mad, psyched up bullies. Like, it's nuts. But they're the same as well. When you, As soon as they leave that prison, their head's down and, like, don't want to be the gangster. Like, they are when they've got 300 people behind them. Or they could press a button. How did the prison officers treat you that time in prison? Oh, at this time, just now? Yeah. Oh, sweet. I knew a gov called Cunningham from Elmley. He's absolutely, like, he's proper sweet. And now he's the governor there. He was like the same like he's he's kind of like straight down the line they're like the best govs if they're straight down the line you know where you stand the govs that act all happy and nice to your face you know they're the ones that go on a gun chat shit behind your back like right CR reports like security reports and stuff so but like the ones that are on a straight line they're the best govs yeah I think I seen a video a couple of days ago that I don't know if you came out of the restaurant but the coppers were sitting in front of you just started banging on their window yeah what goes through your mind though when you I do that? Fuck them, bro. You ain't gonna intimidate because it's an intimidation thing for them. Do you know what I mean? They'll get their boys and they oh, will you not intimidate me at all? Like, what are you really intrigued? What are you gonna do? Get out with your spray and your taser and beat me. We'll, we'll, we'll rock. Like, you're not gonna intimidate me. Like, and I just don't have it. Do you, you ever get worried you get set up? 
Is that for what? I don't put something in your car or something like that. Nah, because... Because they fucking, they do hate you just yeah. as much as you hate them. <laughs> but to do that, they've got to really be high up and risk their whole career, really, for me. But you keep saying for you, but your profile is still growing daily. So then you become a threat because of the, you then grow an audience and then people start wanting to be like you. So if people be banging police windows, not because mm. it's what they know, it's because of what they've seen you doing. Yeah, but I feel Stealing like... goats and fucking <laughs> bump <laughs> people. Stealing and goats. What happened when you stole the fucking goat? <laughs> well, that was sick, though, wasn't it? <laughs> 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 it's like, the goat was in the boot. We were doing the <laughs> oh, so my mate, he literally... He's, I love him to pieces, yeah? His name's James, like, he's a G. And fucking... He loves his little girl... He just cares about like everyone being happy. So he made a farm in his garden, yeah? It's a way of like, he, yeah, it's for his little girl and kids all come around, but it's also a way to make ladies happy. Like, do you want to come see me farm? Do you know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> so one day he went, oh, I've got to go and feed me goats and that. And it really bugged me because we was in the boozer. Like, you're fucking leaving the boozer to go and feed your goats. So I said, all right, fuck that. We're going to nick his goats. <laughs> He's fucked off. We've crept to his ass, like drove there, crept in the back, me, me and some kid, and then literally we chored the goat. And then we left, and then he's rung me up like normal. Did you see the video, the phone yeah. after? So he's rung me up normal after. What's happening, mate? How are you? Because like, the boxing was on. My mate Ted Cheeseman was fighting. I was like, I'm not just watching the fight. Rah, rah, rah. And he's like, yeah, man, fucking that balloon. And I was, and I spun the camera around because the goat's in my back garden. <laughs> he's like, bruv, are you taking the piss, bruv? <laughs> The goat's just chilling in the back garden. Oh, so yeah. And then, yeah, we took the goat back because obviously... The lose his shit. The goat's fucking stunk, mate. <laughs> the goat's are ruthless. Ruthless. It was trying to head us and everything. Yeah. We were trying to get out of the boot. It's like, nah. And then every time we went near it, it's like that. <laughs> we're like, what? Yeah. And I'm shitting myself from it. Like, because I hate goats, like cats. <laughs> Any mad little animal like that, I'm off. Like, I see a cat, I'll scream for my mum and I don't even like... Yeah, it's mad. Mad goat thief. Oh, <laughs> Would there anybody in the animal rights or anybody try and give you shit for that? No, nobody. Just but everyone was saying about what you having tonight: goat curry, yeah. goat, like just like loads of like goat jokes. But yeah, it was quite fucking. But you must get a lot. Of, you do get a lot of love. You like you do get a lot of people. Oh yeah, I get a lot of positive I mean? stuff. You yeah. get a lot of positive stuff. But, can but you the hate on social media outweighs the positive. Yeah. But can you understand as well the hate because of what you do as well? That yeah, of course. That I would hate. Shit. I would hate me, mate. Mm -hmm. But at the end of the day, it's banter. I'm not taking it too seriously. What do you want me to do? Sit indoors like and just watch EastEnders at seven o'clock? So, right. Come on, we're in a world now where everyone doing their own thing. So. That's what I do. I just think I'm funny. When some people think I'm funny, some people think I'm a cunt. It is what it is. How's the mental health side of things just now? Um, yeah, there's times when it obviously affects me and there's times when it, it don't affect me. But like I said to my mate Jack yesterday, I said, literally, because I said I wanted you to speak to him and I was like, mate, he's so helpful because like, you just your random phone calls. Like, literally, when you ring me, it's like, you're my guardian angel. It's like someone's told you to ring me. And then I'll he'll say, James, I'll pick it up. I'll like, what's happening? Like, I'll be feeling mad. And you'll be like, you're right. And I'm like, no, this is weird. You've done it about three times. And I'm like, mate, did someone tell him to ring me? And I'm like, yeah. And then you'll be like, mate, just trust me. Like, And we'll have a conversation and then I'll come out of it. I'm like, fucking, I'll get off the phone. I'll be like, well, like I was feeling shit and now I'm better again do you know what I mean so yeah, I, I do can, actually shake your yeah. hand for that but you know I've got a lot of time for you brother yeah, like, obviously the stuff that you do I don't agree with majority of it but <laughs> majority of yeah, it 99.9% yeah. <laughs> <point nine, nine, laughs> but you know when I first met you like I say even mm. though everything that was going about you like videos people saying your dad was getting killed and you were oh, bumping mad, people for millions it? you were fighting with mafia and and obviously when I seen you, I seen you skipping down the road and I was like, he does not give a fuck. Like, and <laughs> London, zero fucks given. Right. And then obviously when I spoke to you, like, I, I do see a goodness in you. Mm. I do see a, a decent guy. Like, you're a family you. man. Yeah. Clearly, like, obviously when I see people drinking or out partying, I know they're struggling. Yeah. Reason being, you seen the photo of me, mate, just a couple of days ago, out <laughs> my fucking nut from four years ago. Though. I know telltale signs, okay, I'll, I'll wait the now but they'll get the phone call on the Tuesday or Wednesday what's happening and people then people just seem to open up well, and then I go listen this is, this is what I've done it's not mm. that I'm reading it from books I'm, that's I've what been I feel there. like going out is, is a way of a release just blanking it out yeah. 
Because if you sit indoors, you're going to dwell, you're going to think, it's going to play on your brain. You ain't going to be able to concentrate on TV, films and stuff. You go out with the lads, you have a few drinks, girls or whatever you're looking like. Your brain is on everything else. You're not sitting there dwelling. Like, you're not thinking. You're not overthinking. Like, your mate will be here doing something funny. The other geezer down the road will be acting like a fucking idiot. Like, so you're not just sitting there like, like a sop just going over and over and over and then depressed and then sad and then yeah, just not like a piece of shit. Yeah, but it's a, it's a tough world. And even the comments, that no matter how much we say we don't give a fuck, we, we still do. No, honestly, but, I honestly do not care about the comments. Like, I know some people say, no, nah, but they will get you. But I just think they're funny because at the end of the day, you've took your time mm -hmm. to read them. And I'm not just putting it on. I'm actually being serious. The ones that, there is some that do, I'm like, mate, come on, that's gay. Like, and I'll delete it. But then the other ones, like the ones I've spoke about already, I'm just like, mate, you're my fucking hard geezer, bro. Yeah. Like, but yeah. That is weird though. Social media is a weird, it's a weird Mad. industry. But like I say, your videos have been viewed millions of times. Yeah. But it's nuts. Yeah, I put a video up the other day, got 1.2 mil on TikTok. I'm like, fucking hell. In about three days, I'm like, Yeah, wow. this is the world we're in. But then that's what But I'm then saying. none of them follow me. <laughs> yeah. Oh, but crazy. that's the world we're in though it's a social media world like sometimes when we're feeling low we'll post shit just to crave a little bit of extra attention yeah, which is weird like you've got the big cars all the watches big bags of dough just fucking people it's left not right mine, no. <laughs> just but again it's the it's the inner demons which we all have we yeah, all battle with including your friend Jack like, we know the pain and the struggles that we all have in everyone life everyone has not do you know what I mean yeah. and that's the difficult thing what keeps you sane though my kids man yeah uh, bad if you never had your kids, what do you think you'd like, be doing? Last night. What time was it? Last night? Half three. Half three, like, just going through pictures of my kids, like, just, like, yeah, just mad. What are you yeah. thinking? Like, <laughs> oh, right now, or like, yeah. No, last night. Just, I love them, man. I just want them to have the best possible life and be happy. Like, I feel like crying. <laughs> but, yeah, just literally have the best possible life and just be happy, man. Just literally smile every single day. But sometimes when you do the stuff that you do, do you ever, does that not cross your mind that it could affect your kids possibly in the future? Nah. Because my little boy, I make him a tough little shit. <laughs> <laughs> what about um, Lee Murray? Yeah. Have you ever spoke to him still? Or it? Yeah, I talked to him. Well, not, not talk to him. Yeah. But yeah, he's trying to get out now. So if the president, oh, what's his name? That Mohammed, the... Uh, um, what do they have? They have princes and stuff, don't they? Yeah, yeah, yeah. The king, if the king, Mohammed, hopefully he releases him soon. And, and so he can go back to his family and his kids, don't yeah. we? And how many years has Lee done now? Bloody oh. hell, since 2005, isn't it? I've 15. Watched... I was 15, yeah. yeah. 2005. Because I know you were th talking on... Everyone else is basically out. Mm -hmm. So why is he not out? Much was it they took? Huh? How much was it they took? 53 mil on it. Cash. Can imagine that, bro. I would have fucking gone Dude, mad. came in your pants, mate. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> oh, could you imagine? 53 million pound in cash. And I had to leave a lot behind. Literally, millions, wasn't it? Like, I think I found like 20 mil straight away, didn't mm -hmm. I? But um, he needs to be freed. Like, it's been way too long. The king of Morocco needs to free him. Like, it just, it's been way, he's just going over the top now. He's served all these years, do you know what I mean? It's over 10 years, like, he needs to go between his kids. His kids were babies when he got arrested and went to prison. Now they're fully grown like adults, do you know what I mean? Like, he's done his time, let him go home. Why did they keep him? Why is he in Morocco? Why is he still there? Can he not get extra? Because his dad was Moroccan, so he oh, got the citizenship. So it was. Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. I remember watching the documentaries because you'd posted something that people were making videos. I watched those videos. What? You were sending traffic towards that. Just about his life. Somebody had made up videos about and put it together it just a few fucking weeks ago. The UFC one. Yeah. So basically what they done, they're just chatting shit on his life. It's just people trying to get famous off his mm. name. Like, <laughs> and just done this thing with UFC, but... Let him tell that story when he gets out. Let him and his family have that money for his story. He'll tell his story in his time. You ain't got to go and do his story for him. So obviously, I got the call. Like, they've took the piss. They're not my mates no more. Fucking Dan post this up. Basically, we've been leaked it. It's not meant to be out. So let's fuck the UFC up and all that and post it up. So obviously, I posted it up. But the UFC must have, I don't know, my traffic must have went mad because... UFC posted it up literally an hour later and they weren't meant to post it up for a week. 
So they must have been fucking. Yeah, exactly. I've, I've watched that. <laughs> Literally straight away. But it's a fucking mad story, oh, man. Mad. That is a mad story. Like he will have a following books and stuff when he gets mm. out. A story would be better than that. Because at the end of the day, you can't tell someone's story as good as someone could tell their own story. Like you want to hear it from a horse's mouth. You don't want to hear it from the donkey in the background who's never really there. He's just a shadow. You want to hear it from the main man, which yeah. is, and in my eyes, he's the fucking gangster. He's the bad man. Do you know what I mean? Not no one else. He's the one I look up to. And he could prop a scrap. Prop I didn't realise how good a scrapper he was, mate, until I seen some of the fights. An animal, eh? <laughs> <laughs> fucking hell, man. Imagine having a box of that of him. <laughs> Fuck that, mate. Mate. <laughs> Fuck that, mate. I'm running. It's right that bang. Yeah. The way he just rocks is just so... Like, as a kid, I used to just analyse his videos, like, over and over. He was... He is my superhero. Like, no joke. I'm, like, 30. I'm, he is my superhero. And I used to analyze his video, analyze his video, even the way he talks, like, I'm gonna smack you up, like, everything. Like, and I was like, he's a G. And it's just the way he rocked, bang, bang, bang. I was just like, wow. And then when he knocked out Pele, that was just, did you watch that one? Yeah. Banged him straight out. I was like, whoa. And then obviously, not a lot of people have done good with Anderson Silva. Look how good he done. And that's the, off the back of partying and living that high life. He weren't really training for that fight. Yeah, I think he had an injury as well. Exactly that. So imagine he would have trained properly for that fight. Mm -hmm. Who was the guy he was fighting with in the lane? Tito Ortiz. Yeah. That big head, ugly motherfucker. He beat fuck out of him, but he denies him. it, doesn't yeah, he? Yeah, he knocks him out. He tries saying that, yeah, leave for a combination and I grabbed him. Like, no, bro. I've told the truth. Everyone who was there has told their story on that situation. And everyone has said... Mate, you went out, Lee went back, took his coat off, give you one, two, three, you went straight down. And I, I can't doubt it because around our area, that's what Lee done. He would go in gaffs and the bully boys, he would bang out or the bouncers, he would knock out 10, 15 of them. Like we know this, like people in my area, do you know what I mean? So I don't doubt that. Tito also, he's absolutely got spanked. Do you think he'll get out? Who, Lee? Yeah. He has to. He has to at one stage, do you know what I mean? Everyone serves their time. Like that saying, it, you, um, you can lock the locks, but you can't stop the clocks. Mm -hmm. So his time's got to come at one stage or another. Like he's, he is a reformed character now. He's a Muslim. He's like doing the good things, do you know what I mean, for his life and his family. He, he's like, from when I speak to him from now till 10 years ago, he seems like a total different person. When I'm saying about this and that, he's like, no, no. Like, you've got to do it this way, bro. Like, totally different. Like, he don't agree with everything I do. Do you know what I mean? He tells me straight. I don't got... think any do anybody does, Danny. <laughs> <laughs> oh. But do you think he sees a bit of, when he was that age as well, Zero Fox Kevin? That... Yeah, he says to me all the time, he said that if there was anyone, like, he said before, saying, he said that there'll never be another him. But he said that he sees me in him, like bits of me in him. He said, you're just a ruthless little cunt. Like, you literally will start. But what happened before? I chinned one of his mates and he rung me up. He's like, fuck's sake, what's wrong with you, bro? I was like, what? And he was like, you're fucking chinning everyone, bro. Just slow down, mate. You're worse than me. But that was his mate's own fault anyway. What's it like in the, the jails in Morocco? Are they cushy or what? Or are they just brutal? Well, they was. He was, he was in Rabbit. And that was actually proper sick. Like it was like six man um, bump beds. Like you had air parcels, like food and stuff. Like it was good. He was training. He was looking healthy. But then obviously something happened. I don't really know. I've only read the stories about it. That he got caught with stuff or something. Got or someone put something in a cell or someone someone done something or reported something. And then he got moved to security. And now he's in a block. And it's just it's horrible. Like. For two years, I think, now he's in the block. He can only make one phone call a week to his family every Friday. Fucking disgusting the way they're treating him that, honestly. It's a joke. How have they not made a lot of petitions and stuff here? Who, what, what, yeah. like, what, like us? That, yeah, no, just let people eye to try and get him out. I don't know, because they don't really listen, but that is actually a good idea. Why, why, why not? Why shouldn't we? That's 16 years, isn't it? Not to get killed or nothing like that. Nothing. Harmed. Straight in, man, 56 mil. I know, imagine it. But that's actually a good idea. We should do a petition. I'm actually going to ring your sister after. Yeah, you create enough noise and then it, people eventually start to listen. Yeah, of course. But a lot of people's got their cases overturned after after spending 20 years because people are creating noise and they just go, do you know what, it's too much a fucking this headache, man, just get them to fuck. But 
I want his story, mate. <laughs> his story is going to be a good story. I'll get him straight away. I'll be like, yeah. James yeah. English. Why do you think I'm nice to you, mate? It's really, I, mean, I don't you, want to fuck you, do you? you? Is that, yeah. He's a prick at that. He's, <laughs> like, he's connected to Lee Money, mate, so just butter him up, mate. <laughs> Give his kid money, mate. Just <laughs> like good guy phoning you when you're depressed. This can't be fucked, do you, mate? I just want Lee's story. I just want Lee's story. <laughs> fuck Simpson, I shot Lee. Oh, yes. No, but uh, what a story. I didn't realise the in-depth. It was actually until you shared that story, I thought, fuck me, like, he's a, a proper, proper scrapper, man, as well. Batman Nutcase, story, ripped, shredded. Shredded. And he's just like, that was, hit. like, what you see on the internet is not even 20% Lee Murray. Like, yeah, he's in the cage fight, seven and the silvers, the Pele's, the fucking, what's that geezer that went out of Jordan, the, the dresses like a woman? Alex Reed. Yeah, that div. Um, them, but then... Him on the street was the eight, the other eighty percent. He was a total different animal. Like there's no other way to describe him. Like having road rage, getting snatched, banging bods like bang, bang, bang. Like he was just not kiss a law to himself. Like literally, Lee Murray law. How good do you think he would have been if he put hundred percent for what cage fight to cage fighting? He would have. He would have been world champion one hundred percent. Michael Biskin got world champion. Lee Murray would have smacked the shit out of Michael Biskin one hundred percent. Yeah. Like, and that's not even a joke. Michael Bisping knows it as well. Like, Lee Murray was a false. If Obviously, don't forget the stabbing happened as well. But if he would have just been a fighter, sky was the limit for him. Like, literally, you've seen him fight. He was just an yeah, animal. An animal. Like, and he could move. Exactly. And even people were saying, oh, he's only a banger, he's only a banger. But if you look at his UFC fight, he won on the floor. So he was learning that. He was doing good at that. Yeah. You can't just go into UFC as a novice on the ground and then beat a ground fighter with the rear naked choke. Like, not rear naked choke, what was it? I forgot the name of the choke he done. But yeah, winning by, obviously, submissions, right? I mean, you're going to have another fight. I was meant to fight on the 20th of November, literally last Saturday. Yeah, what happened? The geezer didn't want a cage fight because, obviously, he said that he had a wedding or something. didn't want to get marked. What? Oh, no, it's just my geezer. You know what is, where I'm not... I haven't took it so seriously. My cage fighters are just divs until obviously I start getting good ones. So I need to have 10, 15 fights before I start getting good fighters. It's not to try to call you out. <clears throat> Idiots, but that's. Yeah, it's got to be. Yeah. Something about them. Yeah. Literally. Do you enjoy the training though? No. No? Nah? No, I ain't trained. You've lost a bit of beef, but. Do you reckon? Yeah. I've, 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 I've no, fat. you've lost a bit of beef. Last time I seen you, you were fat. <laughs> <laughs> I'll put it on again, mate. <laughs> I was just going to say, <laughs> big wing glass as you should have brought <laughs> My weight is up. Every fucking podcast, I look different. Oh, mate, what we were talking about doing? the other day on the phone. Yeah. Like, we were saying, you went, how are you getting on with training? I said, I ain't fucking training. You went, neither am I. I'm just about to go and get some cakes. <laughs> <laughs> It's yeah. just food. Food kills me. Winter time kills me, mate. I'm like a bear. Oh. I go hibernating in cakes, mate. Oh, literally. Like, I just love food. Like, yeah. I'll, I'm so addicted to PlayStation, it's a joke. Like, but I'll eat so many sweets sitting there and you won't even realise. And then you blink, take it five seconds, and you've had four bags of crisps, three chocolate bars, two yeah. milkshakes, and you're like, fuck. What are you playing in the PlayStation? Call of Duty, FIFA. Like, oh, so bad. I spend so much money on FIFA, it's honestly a joke. What, gambling or that? No, you, so you buy like FIFA, like foot champ things. Yeah. To get better players. Like I was honestly doing about £400 a week at one stage. Fuck oh, off. I swear. I've done £300, £350 in one day. I was like, that's nah. an addiction, man. Oh, mate. I, no wonder and, you're robbing people. <laughs> <laughs> and then the new FIFA come out, FIFA 22, and you couldn't put your ultimate team on the new. So all the money's wasted. I said, fuck that, they've robbed me, bruv, and I've never, like, picked the controller up for FIFA again. Like, you honestly. You grand on that, and it's just... Okay, it's oh, wait. Wiped. Yeah, wiped, like, literally. I think I've had two games on FIFA 22, like, it's absolutely made me fume. You've robbed me. Like, you've robbed the robber. Like, what the <laughs> fuck? <laughs> Taste it in, mate. Listen, literally. Everybody, and there's nothing I can do. Everybody will be <laughs> fucking sending comments to the PlayStation <laughs> saying, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> you got our money back. <laughs> Can I have a percentage? <laughs> oh. So how is life then going for, like now and stuff out of jail and stuff? You just because like I says, mate, you seem calmer. You don't seem. You seem to have matured the bit. Yeah, I just you seem, I just don't care. Like, like you said before, like you're gonna you're gonna you're gonna have all this 
like attention, all this thing. But when it drops, you and that I always remembered you saying that. When it drops, you can't think of that. You just have to just take it how it is. And I've never really put myself up there. I've always just been on the level. When people go, you're a celebrity, you're fine. I'm, no, I'm not. I'm just me. I'm just Danny. Do you know what I mean? So, yeah, I just don't really care. Nah, I just go with the flow. Isn't it mad, though, about like podcasts and social media, how it can blow up a name and the videos, like how fast your videos went round when all that shit was going about. Mate, I, I jumped on that straight away. I don't I need to get him on the podcast. I remember because I'd done a vote because I, I was thinking, no, I can't do podcasts, man. <laughs> And I've done a vote and fucking hell, you absolutely obliterated me. It's like, should I do a podcast with James English? Yes or no? And it was like 90% yes and 10% no. Oh, I was I like, like another podcast, was <laughs> <laughs> Oh, but yeah. Yeah, but it is in it. Is that, did you feel that after? Because, like I say, you came out here and done a podcast and says, look, I bump people. I don't fucking care. Mm. See, so it is. I just love to converse like our conversation. Like I just that's what I like. Like ever since then I've been asked, like I said earlier, like over hundreds of times, like do a podcast. I'm like, no. I just I, f I feel like like Bobby Kasanga, like we 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 vibes, like with you, like I vibe, like we we have a conversation, we get on, do you know what I mean? Mm. But the other people, like I'm just like, no, nah, just not like fuck off, like I'm not feeling it, do you know what I mean? Yeah, because we're talking about maybe getting a book out about your life as well. Yeah, I really, that's one thing I really want to do is do a book. Because mm -hmm. you've got, listen, there's a lot of shit that we don't talk about as well. Like I say, we yeah, speak quite regular and um, I'd like to call you a friend. Like, I would publicly say that. I don't give a fuck. Like, there's nothing to hide. Nothing <laughs> That'd be on you, up. boy. <laughs> <laughs> but I do, there is something about you. I go, yeah. man, he's a funny bastard. Like, you're a good guy, even though you do, you do, do that. Do you know what is? I'm a You either love me or you hate, hate me. me. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. And people that meet me, actually like me even though they might not agree with what I do even though they might see video and they think what are you doing you cunt you're acting like yeah. a cunt but they still like me like I'm a likeable character when you meet me but it's the fuckers that obviously don't yeah. but, but you've not I had mean, it easy in life either man like I say you've been out of prison since what fucking 15 <laughs> do you know what I mean it's, that mentally scars you as well that mentally fucks mm. you up bro like, it's where do you ever think right man I might just fuck off abroad yeah I do I went and I do my missus for like six weeks and just chilled in Spain. But that was a fucking same. I was in the swimming pool one day and some kid literally popped out of the water, had these big goggles on, he had these big flappy ears. He went, you celebrity? I said, nah, bruv, not me. He's like, yes, you celebrity. I was like, no. And he was like, yes, the TV. <laughs> I was like, Danny Simpson? <laughs> I was like, baby knows me. <laughs> This kid must have been about 10. I was like, you want to play ball? <laughs> Mad, on it? Literally, is fucking crazy, Because you kind of went off the radar, though. I was getting messages that people said you were dead. What? Yeah. When? Look, when oh, you... when the Instagram snow. Yeah, everything, yeah. Oh, yeah. People took you hostage and... Took stuff. me hostage? Yeah, yeah, yeah. What? I fucking see these. No. On Instagram, I don't know if you're... Hey, you know, there's a saying that I've done. Do you know what it says? What? They'll do nothing, bro. Yeah, <laughs> you should have seen when you go to prison. They'll do nothing. That gone somewhere. Trust me. No, I always knew that anyway. But that, that was the messages because I think you're in, I don't know if your Instagram got shut down. Yeah, it probably or, was. Or, or you never posted for weeks or something. Something happened, but, or you went. It may have been that time you went holiday. And mm. people were saying, oh, where's Dan? He's okay. I said, yeah. I no, because when I was on holiday, I was videoing all the way driving it. So I was meant to go to court, yeah. And that was meant to go court. I totally forgot James, yeah. So I'm fucking, for the, for the one they sent me to prison for now, yeah? Mm -hmm. So I'm driving through France, like the, the mountain, yeah? My Celeste has rung me, gone. Dan, where are you, mate? I said, what? She went, it's a dialing time. Where are you? I went, I'm oh, driving through France. <laughs> I'm going to be at court for driving while I'm disqualified. I'm driving through France. She went, are you taking the piss? I said, no. She went, you're going to be at court to get sentenced for disqualified driving. I said, so I've got COVID. <laughs> <laughs> Is that when you got your sentence and, and you then come back? My solicitor went into the court, said Danny's got um, COVID. Uh, uh, long story short, mate, the fucking police was like, fucking COVID? Look at his video. Is he fucking driving through France? Fuck's sake. <laughs> <laughs> and that's when I got sentenced when I come back because we weren't even going to come back. We weren't actually meant to come back. We come back from my, um, my missus' sister's, my missus' sister's mm -hmm. girlfriend, Jilly, like her birthday party. Mm -hmm. And then obviously caught that week as well. That's the only reason we come back. Yeah, man, it's, it's shit here as well. There's a lot of good opportunities, man, but like I say, your name is getting bigger, so it becomes more pressure, more stresses, more people stopping you, more people looking at you. Hmm. It's just weird. I know, I went to a festival the other day, it was fucking insane. Like, 
I've never been to a festival in my life. Mate Jack's like, oh, come to this festival, come to this festival. I was like, All right, fuck it, let's go, yeah? Mate, I couldn't even walk from the entrance to the literally the, the tent. I must have done 20 video uh, pictures, but it was so funny because mine and Jack's other mate, Chris, he actually thinks he's famous like, and thinks he's proper. I've got to be proper. Like, I'm a celebrity. He might be in the paper. And we take the piss like, you're not even famous, mate. You're like celebrities sloppy seconds, bro. <laughs> <laughs> and then he, Jack's getting asked by all the girls for pictures. I'm getting asked by all the boys for pictures. And then no one's asking him for pictures. <laughs> yeah. It is fucking hilarious. But he's like, so when we're getting asked for pictures, he's like doing like fake cough, like, <clears throat> so people turn around and look at him, like, so then they go, oh, and then, but no one done it. <laughs> it's fucking mad, do not it? The social oh, media world, on how it can put you in that kind of status where people want photos and buying into all the madness. Oh, they nice. come over like so polite, like, do you mind, like, can I please get, I'm like, mate, I'm not a celebrity, let's get the phone, bang, mm -hmm. bang, bang. Do you know? Why don't you get a provisional though, license, and you can fucking drive? Because I've always been on the band. And the band's always oh, been. So you can't even get a provisional. No. Just even a judge this time. My 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 driving band ends in June, and then the judge is like, "On in June next year, I want it to be another year." My sister's like, "We're not in America. Like, if you sent this in today, it starts today." She's like, "No, I want it to start when his band finishes." I was just like, "You can't do that." So now I'm going through the procedure of appealing that, but no doubt by the time we get there, I would have been caught driving again and be on another van. <laughs> Fucking hell. No, dude, you can't be driving again, man. You've oh, got, man, you've I got, can't. You've got 12 not, months. I can't. Not, straight away. No, you can't get 12 months. Six months do three, maximum. For driving? For driving. Driving on the van. That's what I got. So I got six months. Uh, that's it. That's driving well get... disqualified. They got my footage. They went to a petrol station. Uh, got footage of cars. I don't pull in petrol stations. Bastards. No, because you, your number plate flags up on the yeah, NPR. Yeah, so... I'd fuck that's how I avoid that I'll get whoever's got a license get to me now nah. driving this picture I, ref I don't care if I had to walk in there 10 times a military car uh, my lawyer was a fucker though he says I'll see you at 12 o'clock I was on the bus up to Berlin at 10 <laughs> it's only 22 23 man. I was shitting myself man uh, I was thinking I'm going to get fucking shagged in here <laughs> that was a good like kid <laughs> don't mean they're, and they're, they're just all fucking junkies man oh so but it's not even like that though, prison, is it? Like, nah, is it fuck, it's man. like a youth centre. Yeah, like, it's weird. Literally. Yeah, it's weird. I was playing a lot of football, worth going to the gym and that. Mm. I, en I enjoyed that, but I missed That's it. what I normally do, but this time in prison was the maddest experience I've ever had. Like, Why? Obviously, people are not coming out of their cells. You're not, you're not having visit. It was, there was no normality. Like, there was nothing. Like, it was fucking crazy. Like, the, I don't know, honestly, how they're getting away with it. Like, you're not, you'll have one visit every month or one shower every other day or like not allowed to clean your cell or literally out yourself for 30 minutes a day. Like, how can you mentally do that to people? So you want them to sit in a cell for 23 and a half hours a day and not expect them to try and kill themselves. People, everyone struggles, do you know what I mean? Like, what are you going to do in a cell? You're going to sit there, dwell, think, get depressed. How was the mental health in prison then? Uh, how, how was, how was it? it? Yeah. You dubbed up with anybody? No, literally, they kept... You're not? No. I was, so I was, first of all, some mad Polish geezer, but then, like, a couple of days later, I said, brother, I'm going down there. And then, that, obviously, that governor, Chapman, um, Cunningham, he was proper sweet. He was like, yeah, go on. So I moved down onto the twos, and then, yeah, no, they just kept me high risk and just left me alone, like, proper sweet. All the govs knew me. Some govs seen your podcast. They come over, hi, mister, you do nothing. There's another gov, Mr. G, he was sick. He's like, yeah, I've seen your podcast, man. You're a G, man. I was like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, because yeah. I mean, that people, I've got so many fucking friends in prison as well, but they're always watching the podcast and shit. <laughs> oh, no, it's mad. Like, <laughs> yeah, I get so many messages, mate, from all over. Like, people, this is why I love these podcasts. Cause, like, today I've had um, SES guy, soldier. He was the longest escape in history. He had to walk 200 miles through the desert. And then 200 had, miles? Yeah. And then... How yeah, long did that take? Seven days. Seven days he walked? Yeah, through the desert. Night and day? Yeah. Well, fucking just blisters, everything on his feet, nearly died so I'll many get... times. And then, who else did we have this morning? Kevin Lane. Kevin Lane, part two. Kevin was uh, fitted up. He's done over 20 years in the, the jail for a crime he says he doesn't commit. Then obviously Danny Boy Samson. Oh, but, I, but he's probably telling the truth, you know. Yeah. Because at the end of the day... He's done the sentence. He's done mm. the time. So why would he have to say that he didn't mm. do it? But he just get recalled there because he's he's tagged the 
the battery went off in the tag and he says it was somewhere else where he wasn't and mm. the box says where he was but he had to do another four months oh. just there mate after doing 20 odd years it's the probation they are, I hate them as well they're yeah, more just, like yeah. it's POI they're they not, another liars like literally they will say everything to your face and they're just horrible like I had one called Daisy she was the worst witch woman I've ever known like honestly if I see her on the street I'm going to dash a drink in her face <laughs> <laughs> Have you still got one now? Or is that you out of all? Uh -huh. I no, no, yeah. Am I on probation? Yeah, I'm on probation, but it ends on I'm on it for once a month, and my next appointment on like the fifth of December. That's my last appointment. Got to sign in on that? No, no nothing. Literally, because I only drive more to school. So no tag or fuck all, nothing now. I had tag when I come out, so I done three weeks in prison, and then I done three weeks on tag. How did you handle the tag? I don't really care. Like, because I come out, I just, I'm just glad to be out. It's my little girl's birthday, isn't it? Her third birthday. So I was more happy about being out for that than anything else. Like, honestly, like, I didn't care if I had to be, if they told me I had to be at four o'clock, three o'clock, I wouldn't give a shit. Yeah. So I was out for my little girl's third birthday. Where do you go now with your life, Danny? 30, man. Like, still young. Still young. Have you Is got it young? Plans? Fuck yeah, no. Yeah, it's young, mate. When you're 30 and 35s and 40s, you say 30 is young, but when you're 20s and 25s, you're like, you're old, bro. <laughs> <laughs> I was talking to some kid on TikTok yesterday and he's saying like, W, Y, these codes. I'm like, what does that mean? He's like, what you doing? And he said another, I'm like, what? what's that? He's like, it means this. I'm like, bro, I am old. Like, yeah. fuck, this lingo now is crazy. They say nut letters instead of <laughs> saying what they mean. Yeah. Lazy not, bastards, that's what it is. Oh, that's honestly what it is. But yeah. What do you do then? What's the plans for the future? Just to carry on rolling, really. Like, literally, I've got a couple of businesses um, and just literally kick back and just chill. Try and enjoy life. No, like, lit yeah, because I never enjoyed life. I never experienced life, but I was always in and out of prison, always in that prison. So, nah, just enjoy it. Just take it in. Do you know what I mean? I've got everything I ever wanted. So now, why not enjoy it? Do you know what I mean? Yeah. So uh, it's been a bit of a mad year for you, though. Eh? Yeah, it's been a fun. And present out, present videos, kind of everybody want a bit of your attention. Literally. Like, has this been a, pr probably one of the maddest years of your life? It is for social media purposes, but the robberies and I've always done. So, so like, that's nothing <laughs> different. People saying you're dead, bounty on your head. This, like, that's not just the social media side. Is obviously. Mm -hmm. A bit crazy. You have people making fake Instagrams, fake YouTubes, fake TikToks. And that's the only thing that really bugs me because I'm like, you cunt, that's me, bruv. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Make money off you. Oh, no. Cheeky fuckers. Isn't it? Bastards. Getting robbed again, Dan. <laughs> you're losing your touch in your old oh, days, no, bruv. It's oh, just been mad, isn't it, though, that do you still get people questioning the, the videos like people saying that was your dad getting killed in the back of a car yeah literally the TikTok is like it's like they're brand new to it it's like they haven't honestly got a clue what's happened what's going on like it's mad you'll be on live and then people just jump in your live and like and they're like who are you I'm like oh I'm nobody I'm just Danny like and then everyone will be like he's a gangster he's a robber he does this and they're like hang up <laughs> yeah. do you still get the phone calls threats nah no one's got my number now I think because obviously he chatted shit about that Mafia family, I think everyone kind of flopped on him because obviously he weren't there ready, do you know what I mean? And obviously he fucked off to another country for a little while while he died down. Idiot. The videos, man. They did, they went viral, viral mate. Bro. Oh, The story, people were putting videos for different things and then creating Just creating it, it as one, story. like literally. And it was appealing. Yeah, of course. Because you're appealing. thinking, he's robbed him for that, but then they've gone and robbed him for that. Then his dad's been shot and killed there. And then he's on this. Mm -hmm. They're like, what? So you watch it, you're like, oh shit, his dad's killed because he robbed that. And then the scouse has gone and robbed him for underground. And oh my God, this is crazy. How's the scousers dealing with you? Because the scousers don't fuck about, man. Do you know what? The scousers are actually proper sweet. Like we say scousers, like, like I said in my video, I was like, I robbed the scousers. Like, we'll put it as one. But, mate, do you know how much love I get off scarces? It's honestly ridiculous. All the scarces are sweet. Like, literally, like, always messaging me, like, yes, lad. Yeah, I'm, like, I'm like, yes, G. Yeah, I love scarces. As soon as I get positive off a scarce, I'm like, yes, yeah. love and love. But yeah, no, they're sweet, man. They're just like us. They're, there's no difference. They're in a different country. They're just the same as us. They're just loyal motherfuckers who don't give a shit. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? And they're up for a scrap. Mm -hmm. like, they are, man. Literally. What's their. Are you still getting grief to this this minute just now? Grief? Yeah, from coppers. Um, yeah, I got nicked two days ago. <laughs> oh, 
<laughs> I literally had a fight with about ten of them. But yeah, they was just like they was they was more trying to make me start because obviously they know me from younger. And when they put their hands on me, normally I'm chinning them, pushing them, grabbing them, throwing them. Mm. And I end up in prison for assaulting police officers. But I've grown up. I'm not doing that. You want to grab me? Cool, I'll grab you. Do you know what I mean? You want to... We'll do the little dance. Do you know what I mean? But I ain't going to launch you and chin you. Because I ain't going to prison for it, bro. Because at the end of the day, you, all you're going to do is go, hey, hit me, assault police officer. Yeah. I ain't falling for your trap. You're still buying and selling, or they, like watch his cars, stuff like yeah, that? Yeah, literally uh, watch his cars, everything. Whatever, just wheeling, dealing, just getting I've always been tempted to buy a watch off your daddy, mate, but I don't want to do a live saying that bastard's <laughs> fucked me, mate. And everybody just laughing and says, oh, oh you only get yourself to blame. But see, even watches now, I hate. Well, I remember being in prison years ago, and my brother had all these watches where he's got a shop. I was like, oh my God, you got that watch, you got that watch. I was like, that's my freight watch, that's my freight. And he's like, Dan, you said every watch is your favourite watch. I'm like, I oh, know, but that's sick, that's sick. And then he was like, yeah, but when you've got them, you don't like them. Like, and that's how I'm honestly feeling now. Like I've got all these watches and all that. I don't, I don't like it no more. Like this watch, however much money it costs, it's a piece of shit. It don't even, I don't even have the time to toll on it. I don't set the time on it. But my Apple Watch that costs not even fuck. It costs hundred ninety pound, two hundred pound. You do taxes on it. You do fucking whatever you want on it. It tells your heart rate a lot. That's the best watch in the world. So, honestly, I just don't give a fuck about watches and shit no more, man. Yeah, because... I thought... think, honestly, I'm going to get rid of all my watches and just chill with an Apple Watch. Like, honestly. Spend it in a place, do you I think? They make me feel depressed. Yeah. Like, you think, I've got 50 grand in this watch. I could go and buy a buggy, a quad, have a sick holiday, go and buy another sick car, or have that piece of shit on my wrist. I don't even... Look, look at the time. It's just half past 10. <laughs> like, I don't even set the time on it. Do you yeah. know what I mean? For what? Don't do anything. I think Danny Boy's maturing, mate. I never thought I'd see the <laughs> fucking day, mate. He's starting to talk about a sense. <laughs> so, yeah, it's what the fuck's happened, mate. I need you stop making your phone calls. I want to see the old Danny back creating views. Oh. I want to see your old bastards left, right, and centre. <laughs> no, but it's good to see, obviously, you've got the newborn as well. It plays a massive effect. Obviously, when we're here today, we can have a laugh and a joke, and mm. it's just kind of bullshit as well, some, but having fun and but with the serious stuff, obviously, with a newborn, it changes your whole perception of life. It changes the whole way you look at things. We go, wait a minute. Like, an interview with you eight months ago, it was a case of, I don't give a fuck. I don't care who comes to my door. I don't care. I'll stand there. And, oh, yeah, I'm still you know, like that. Yeah, of course. But I've got one naughty-ass dog as well. Right? <laughs> what have you got? I've got Dutch herd eyes. Fucking mad as bats hat, bro. It's level two trained. Like, he is some animal. He will go through brick walls, car windows. On a... So have a word he would could be in there uh, sit next to me be mm. sweet if I said go he would like yeah and he's trained for groups of people so if five people come ten people go, he, will, he will have a bit of everyone mm -hmm. and his teeth are like fucking knives so whatever he bites straight through like even when he's training and, and they wear them sleeves straight through it he made the geezer's arm like Tom who I bought him off made his arm bleed oh. you get, how many just one you've got Oh, what, yeah, I just need him. I don't need the fucking... No, he he yeah. fucking eats everything, the fucker. What does your lawyer say to you? He must be making a fortune. My lawyer don't really know anything. Like, I don't... Yeah, she, I don't really tell her anything. <laughs> just when you get the jail? Yeah, literally, just when I get caught. What, do you, what does the copper say when you, you, you bang their window and stuff? And What do they say? Shit their pants. just tell you to fuck off? So I'll slap them if they told me that. But could you imagine... <laughs> <laughs> fuck up whack no yeah no some coppers do actually try and think they're bad but I'll, like, well, let's go then like, but that's about it but they'll only think they're bad for the five seconds until they realise you're not backing down like there's another video I don't know if you've seen it they pull me and my girlfriend over we pull into a petrol garage and he's there giving it like um, and he pulls out his acid his pepper spray sorry but he drops it like a fucking idiot so you're acting like a gangster but you drop your pepper spray you div like they're not. They, they they try and put on the front. They try and push their chest out. But you're not. You're just a nerd that went on a course for however long and become a police officer. You're not a gangster. You're not stood on a street and had a tear up with 10 bods, 15 bods. You're not being bottled. You're not stabbed people. You're not done anything. You've just got your handcuffs and you just arrest people when there's 15 of you. Like, they ain't got the bottle. As soon as someone's there, like, coming in, they're like... <laughs> Have you ever been tasered? Yeah. Have you? Scar in my chest. <laughs> 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 Fucking hell. What happened? Oh, so literally, 
my door banged off, yeah? And literally, like, I've always got stuff like acid, ammonia. Like, so as soon as someone bangs the door off, like, I'm normally like, I'll just throw it down the stairs. Like, then they ain't going to be able to get on and start stabbing them or whatever. Like, baddies. Not that it's happened, but that's the role play. <laughs> so the door's banged off. So I run with all the, and then all of a sudden, all these green, red laser lights. I'm like, fuck. So I'm trying to put the stuff down, like all the knives and that. And then I'm going down the stairs, and then there's all these geese in balaclava shields. I'm like, Shit, what's going on here? I've got to the bottom of the stair. They're like, get on the fucking floor. I was like, what? I, I, all I said is, what? They went, Poof, shot me, yeah? But only one of the pawns went in my chest. The other one missed me. So I literally pulled it out, kicked the door shut, turned around to run back up the stair. I didn't even get to the first stair. They went, boss, shot me again. Got me in the back. James, I'm not even joking, yeah? You know the video, you see people out like a pencil. I was out like a pencil. <laughs> All I remember is they fuck. I was in my pants. I was in my pants, literally. They grabbed me by my pants, dragged me, lifted up the shoes, dragged me underneath it. And I just remember sitting there like that. All I could do is see. I couldn't, I couldn't really hear. It was all blurred. Like, it was just like I was stuck. I couldn't do anything. And they were just hitting me with the back of the, like, you know, their machine guns. Mm -hmm. They was hitting me with the back of the machine guns, going, I thought you was fucking hard, you pussy. Like, just proper giving it to me. And then I was thinking, when I get in this police station and get these cuffs off, you're going out. <laughs> and I walked down the road with this gavel. And then I got in the police station and had all these fucking things hanging off me. And I was like, when the cuffs come off, I was like, let's go now. And I was like, no, no, I can't. I was like, you fuckers, let's go. And then that was it. Uh, ended up pulling off the sergeant's tie, throwing at him. Because I thought he it was obviously tires. I've gone to grab him, to pull him. And it was a fucking pop-off tire. <laughs> and then that was it, a big fight again. Mm. But yeah. What was that? Was it fucked then, getting shot with one of them? Oh. Does it hear that anything stuck up? Like, I just, I, I just <laughs> fucked. Like, I was honestly like that. Uh, a pencil. You see people getting to just fucking hit the deck. But did you see the other geezer? Like, they shoot him about 10, 20 yeah, times. And he just... Yeah, yeah, that was sick. I was just like, adrenaline. Yeah, that. bad. Like, yeah. honestly. Have you had many beatings from the coppers? No, not really. Not really beaten. Oh, I got beaten by prison officers. Um, not really beaten because they can't. What can they really do? You're on camera. They can't start stamping on you, punching you. Mm -hmm. You do get the odd like them leaning on your head a bit and giving you a little elbow or a punch. Yeah. But we're used to that. Do you know what I mean? I've had bear fights with the police, like basically police that are untold fight. I remember one time I was on the phone. Sergeant telling me get off the phone. I said, turn around. I said, Shut up. I carried on the phone. He went, get him off the phone now. And I remember hanging up the phone. I run over, I grabbed him by his shirt, trying to drag him over the desk. I was mad. But then the times that I end up, then I, whatever they arrested me for would get dropped and I would end up in prison for assaulting the police. Yeah. It's mad. Like, that was my story of my life. Like, I've, well, I think it says I've assaulted like 25 police officers, two police dogs. It's mad. Like, my criminal record is just assault police, assault police, assault police, assault police, assault police, assault police dog. Ram police. <laughs> what did you do to the dog? Oh, so I was getting, I was hiding in the bedroom, yeah, and they come to, I was laying on the settee watching Harry Potter, and I just see all these lights, and I looked at his police looking at the window of me. But when I just woke up, I was all delirious, so I thought, I'll run upstairs. So I run upstairs and hid behind the bed. Don't know, they've just seen me, like, what the fuck? They're looking through the ass, all of a sudden the dogs come. Dogs found me. Dogs like, ruff, 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 ruff. So I've got up from my thing. As I got up, the gaffer, I had the cosh, but he had it closed. It just went whop in my eye, literally busting my whole eye. Like, there's a picture on, on like, the mug shots, like, on Google of my eye, the way it was. It broke my whole eye socket. And he was beating me, so I'm fucking mocking him now, yeah? Dogs bit my bollocks. <laughs> I'll grab this dog, James, and I've just started elbowing it, punching it, wrapped it round my legs and just started giving it. The dog was yelping. I didn't let go. I just grabbed hold of his gun. I was beating it bad. And then, um, yeah, I got done. I remember the dog's name, Archie. I've still got the um, <laughs> the charge sheet and the police officer's statement for it. Like, <laughs> Mr. Simpson wouldn't let go of my dog. His eyes were popping out. He said, he was beating my dog. <laughs> so I went cool the next day. I had all these bite marks everywhere. Spares, like, I've still got the scars on my knees. My bollocks was ripped open when he's bit my balls. My eye was broken, and literally, all it was for is I threw a stone at a car, so the police come around to arrest me for stone a stone. And I got into the call, and the judge went, has he been to hospital? And then the um, prosecution was like, oh, we don't know. The judge went, find out now if he's been to hospital. 
And then they come back and said, no. She went, bail him now to go to hospital. And then the prosecutor was like, no, we want, to, we want him remanded to prison. He just sorted this many police officers. Judge was like, he's getting bail to go to a hospital now. That's the only reason I got bail. <laughs> Are you fucked? <laughs> I was fucked, bro. Oh, yeah. Who did the prison officers battle you for? Oh, that was a mad one, yeah. So... I was in my cell and in Belmarsh they have this team called the DST. So they've come now to search a cell, but I've got a visit. I'm going home in the morning. Like, you could find 30,000 phones in my cell. You can't do anything. I'm going home. Like, you've given me a nicking sheet. I've already gone home, bro. I'm having a wank indoors by the time the nicking's come through. So we have to go outside the cell. This guy is in front of me. He's got like blonde spike here with glasses. He's like, put your arms under your armpits and lean against the wall, yeah? I was like, fuck off, I ain't doing that. He went, I'm telling you, you little cunt, put your fucking arms under your armpit. I said, I ain't doing it. And he's just come. I just went, bang, it's him. He dropped. Yeah. So I've got myself in the corner. They've all come, press the alarm. There was about just loads of them, just a sea of guys. And I was like, come on, the first one you used come, I was going at. And they went, one, two, three, but and jumped on me. And I remember Harry Stewart was in his cell watching. And he was like, yes, Dan, I'm just rocking all the uh, prison officers. James, no joke, they put me in handcuffs, yeah? They said, are you going to walk? I said, fuck off, carry me, mate, you dogs and all that, yeah? So I'll just make it harder for them, yeah? Like the other day, I was like, carry me, boy. <laughs> I'll just make it hard, difficult for them. James, you know what they've done? They literally picked me up on my legs, put them under their arms, one leg under it, carried me all the way to the block on my forehead. Bum, bum, bum. <laughs> On my head, bro. I go, you can't do this to me. <laughs> <laughs> Literally, just carry, shut up, you little cunt. Whack, <laughs> chilling my legs and that. Um, got in a block on my mum's life, mate. Like, I'll never forget them. It's a mad old story, this one. So, got me in a block, got handcuffs on, said, You think you're a bad boy? You're standing me up. Bang, dropping me. Standing me up again. Bang, dropping me again. I've got handcuffs on. They're proper, full blown. Getting gloves to hold me and whacking me. I'm dropping again, jumping up and down on me, stamping on me. I had to kick myself under the bed for protection. They was dragging me out, trying to do me. And then Mr. Murray, I remember it clear as day, pressed the alarm bell because he thought them gloves was honestly going to kill me that day. And then all the gloves come. The glove that was on top of me giving it to me, he started saying, oh, fuck, to the other guys, oh, fucking press the alarm. And he's strangling me now, yeah? He's like, I wanted to kill this cunt. Mate, it was the most maddest situation I've ever been in. All the govs come, or healthcare come. Then the next morning, didn't think nothing of it. The governor come in, he had his sleeves rolled up. Yeah? Didn't think nothing of it. He said, Mr. Simpson, I said, yeah. He said, you got, um, you're going home this morning. I said, yeah. He went, you got three assaults here on police of, uh, prison officers. Very serious assaults. You're not one. Sparko, like, on the landing. On CCTV. I said, yeah. He went, but he's seen, must see my face, like, it's bad. He went, nah, you can have two options. I said, what's that? He said, you can walk from here go to reception and go home quietly. Or you can go leave here, I'll, I'll ring the police up and have you done for these assaults on these, uh, on these prison officers. What one are you going to choose? And I looked at Mr. Murray and Mr. Murray was like, I was like, I'll go home quietly. He went, lucky for you, and undone his sleeves and put his cufflinks on like he was going to bat me as well. <laughs> and then literally went on. I didn't even go on. I went straight to my mate's ass. I looked in the mirror, I see my face. No, I'm not on. I saw my kid's life. I said, get a gun out. We're going there now. I'm going to do one of the officers. He went, what? I said, listen, if you love me, we're going in now. We're doing one of them officers. Trust me, I'm going to shoot him on the doorstep. And that's on my kid's life. We got a gun. We went back to the prison. I was going to wait for the officer to come out. I was going to shoot him right in his nut. They battered me. They took the piss. We got to the prison. My brother's kid was on a life support machine because he was born premature. And he said, are you sure you want to do this? And I was like, I'm sure I'm going to do this. He's like, Dan, you've got your own kids. You're going to, my kid's now on the thing. And that's the only reason I didn't ruin my life that day. Because his kid was on a ventilator mission. Mad shit, innit? But do you think he would have killed you if he never pressed the panic button? Yeah, he was proper serious. Do you think that happens a lot? 100%. Kill kids, man. Beat the fuck out of them and then say it's a suicide or they fail over 100%. the fucking... Yeah, easy. Yeah. They can get away with it. Who's going to go against them? There's no CCTV. There's no nothing. Happens daily, mate. I'm, thousands. I know kids that have, have broke their arms, broke their jaws. Like, I see it all in Elmley. They used to put me in the block all the time for GOD, 30 days in the block. Literally, I would watch 
10 officers run into a kid and this kid not be no bigger than a stick and they'd be jumping up and down him, smashing his head against the floor, whack, like, and you're like, how can you do that, bruv? I, even your worst enemy, like you'd have a fight with them, you'll knock them out. You, you might give them a kick or something. You're not going to start jumping up and down. Like, that's just another level, do you know what I mean? Yeah. Like prison officers get away with some mad, mad shit, like, Honestly, like you can ask anybody, someone who's been to prison will tell you a mad story of what prison officers do to prisoners, 100%. But at the end of it, what will happen is the prisoner that's just got battered will have to put in like appeal forms and try and sue the police, but he will get nicked for assaulting a prison officer. So he's the one bad one. So the prison officers get away with it because now he's getting in trouble for assaulting a prisoner when he actually done anything. Yeah. He's probably got a bit cheeky, give a push or... Might have spat, but he's just fucking caved his head in. So yeah, mate, prison officers are like on another level. Yeah, some of them don't fuck about. What's the worst prison you've been in, Danny? What for? What, why is just and it just like, just a shithole that bullying and for screws and stuff like that. Screws, probably bit the bell marsh. Yeah, that is a shithole. Oh, there, mate, I had a woman in my face before, and like she was proper wanted it, like a fight. Like, mad spitting everywhere. Like, I was like, you, I would spark you. Like, are you fucking <coughs> serious, bro? Come in, you can't ride. I was like, pushing. Yeah, Belmarsh was mad. Because they know they can just press that button. They're going to have a dog come through that way, dog come through that way, and 20 big fat geezers of all army titles over and come. So, yeah, yeah Belmarsh was a bit mad. I remember it went off with a couple of geezers on the server before, and it, the way they come and control the situation was a bit mad. Coming up to Christmas New Year, bro, you're going to finish your year out of prison and yeah, get steady for 2022. Yeah, I'm going to start. You laugh, mate, as if, yeah, but you're fucking always getting hassled. You're I'm always not. in the prison. Do you know what I mean? Like, No, I can't go to prison for Christmas and that. I've got to stay out for my kids. Then so. January just fuck shit up. Uh, fuck <laughs> shit up. Is that what is your plans, though, for going forward for the future, brother? I know you spoke about a book and, like, like I say, like, it's still an interesting name, Danny Simpson. Mm -hmm. People know about it now, especially in London, like, you don't fuck about, but like I say, man, me do speaking, you're a good guy. You you, mm -hmm. you do good things that we don't speak about as well. That you don't obviously it's here and have a laugh. People like to hear about the nitty gritty shit, but you're a good person, mate. You do you are a, a bit of a clown sometimes, but who the fuck's no, do you know what I mean? Yeah, you're, you're still young. But for your future plans then, what's what do you see Danny Simpson doing? What in like five years? Yeah. Just carrying on with the business, kicking back, just providing for my kids. Literally. I do want to, at Christmas this year, I do want to go to Great Ormond Street Hospital, give loads of kids in there all toys, and I will do exactly what I've done last year, buy any women, single parents, pay, if they can't afford for their kids' Christmas, pay for their kids' toys, pay for heating for the house, like, help people, do you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. But yeah, because I've done, I've done the same last year for like, um, mums, single parents and that. Yeah, people message you as well, and... They need money and you send them money, mate, just to my randers and I think, what the fuck is he doing? Because you, do you know what it is? I, I get it. Because saying that, like if I put on my Instagram now, oh, whoever needs money, I'll give money. I'll have to fucking everyone. Oh, I want money. But you know when you look at someone and then they, 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 they it's in debt, you can tell, do you know what I mean? Like they, they're seriously struggling. Like you see videos of them and their kids, like they're trying their best. Like how can I not give them a hundred pounds, a hundred and fifty, how not? Do you know what I mean? Like, it's just, it's mad. Like, what am I going to do? Go and spend on a pair of trainers? Or give it to that woman who's going to go and literally put £50 on eating, put £50 in the food shop and literally have £50. Like, I can't not, not, not do that. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Fuck that, bro. That's the Danny Simpson I like. Do you know what I mean? That's the <laughs> one thing I do like about you, Danny. Like, you are a sensitive cunt. You are a soft person as yeah, well. You course, do good 100%. things. That, I know a lot of people might not see that on social media. I know you do that mm. stuff. Um, but but how many women last year did I give like single parents money and that too? Yeah. Literally, it was just a lot. Like, mm. over 20 people. Even like women that went my kids' school. Like, kids go to my kids' school. Do you know what I mean? Like, help. Like, I'm not going to expose them and say it is, but, like, I have helped a lot of people. Do you know what I mean? Even, like, at Blue Water, they do this thing every year. They do a tree. You go and pick up a star on the tree and it's our kid's name in care or something, they? and it's our kid's name. I will go in a Lego shop. I will get names and go in a Lego shop and buy them Lego and then go and donate the presents. And then I'll put it on Instagram. Everybody come and do this. 
Oh, literally, James, no joke. Last year, I went back into there four or five days later. There was not one name on a tree, but this big thing was just full of toys. But that shit makes me smile. Do you know what I mean? Because I will never see that kid, but I know in my heart that kid opened something and smiled on Christmas Day. Good man. Yeah, Danny boy. Thing. For anybody that's watching, that's maybe struggling with mental health, because I know you we all battle, we yeah, speak about it frequently. Like, what advice would you have for them? Just... It's a tough, tough, tough times don't last. Tough people do. Like honestly, like that is the best thing. Like it doesn't last. Just get through it. Just ride it out. Go and talk to someone. Open up. That is the, honestly the best thing. Talking. You can't keep it in. You keep it in. You're gonna dwell. You're gonna stress. So open up. Just go and tell whoever you trust what your problem is. Danny boy, you know I love you, mate. I love you. Listen, God bless you. And like I say, I hope you have a good Christmas and you too. family and stuff in there. We'll do, we'll do something in 2022. Yeah. <laughs> Definitely after my robberies. <laughs> We're coming for you, motherfuckers. <laughs>